The Black Widow, the heaviest neutron star so far discovered, is devouring its mate. This artist's conception of a Black Widow pulsar depicts a rotating neutron star regularly swinging its radio and gamma ray beams past Earth. The pulsar steadily evaporates the star partner's facing side by heating it to temperatures twice as hot as the surface of the Sun. The millisecond pulsar partner of a dim, planet-sized star is weighed by observations of it. The heaviest neutron star yet seen has grown as a result of a dense, collapsed star tearing apart and consuming virtually all of its stellar companion's mass. One of the Milky Way galaxy's fastest spinning neutron stars, it rotates 707 times every second. Astronomers can better comprehend the strange quantum state of matter within these incredibly compact objects by weighing the record-breaking neutron star, which tops the charts at 2.35 solar masses compared to our sun's mass. If they are significantly heavier than that, neutron stars completely disintegrate and turn into black holes. In the nucleus of a uranium atom, for example, we know basically how matter behaves at nuclear concentrations, said Alex Filipenko, distinguished professor of astronomy at the University of California, Berkeley. A neutron star is like one huge nucleus, but it's not at all apparent how they would behave when you have one and a half solar masses of this stuff, which is around 500,000 Earth masses of nuclei all clinging together. Professor of Astrophysics at Stanford University Roger W. Romani claims that neutron stars are extraordinarily dense, with one cubic inch weighing more than 10 billion tons. This means that, aside from black holes, which are inaccessible for research due to their location behind their event horizon, their cores are the densest regions of matter in the universe. As a result, the neutron star, also known as Pulsar PSR J0952060607, is the densest object visible from Earth. The most massive neutron star yet discovered, and maybe the upper limit for neutron stars, was calculated by astronomers by measuring the velocity of a weak star that has had nearly all of its mass removed by an unseen partner. The objects belong to the Sexton's constellation. The 10-meter Keck, I telescope on Monachia, in Hawaii's exceptional sensitivity, allowed for the measurement of the neutron star's mass. It captured the visible light spectrum coming from the once hotly blazing companion star, which has since shrunk to the size of a sizable gas planet. The stars are around 3,000 light-years away from Earth, in the direction of the constellation Sextons. PSR J0952060607 discovered in 2017, is known as a Black Widow Pulsar. Their name refers to a female Black Widow spider's propensity to eat the much tiny male after May. Filipenko and Romani have been researching Black Widow systems for more than a decade in an effort to determine the maximum size that neutron stars slash pulsars can develop to. We demonstrate that neutron stars must attain at least this mass, 2.35 plus or minus 0.17 solar masses by combining this measurement with those of several other black widows, said Romani, a professor of physics in Stanford School of Humanities and Sciences and a member of the Kavli Institute for Particle Astrophysics and Cosmology. This, in turn, offers some of the strongest limitations on the characteristics of matter at densities several times greater than those seen in atomic nuclei. In fact, this discovery excludes a number of dense matter physics models that were previously widely used. The interior of a neutron star is likely to be made up of neutrons and up and down quarks, the building blocks of standard protons and neutrons, but not exotic matter like strange quarks or kaons, which are particles that contain a strange quark if 2.35 solar masses is close to the upper limit of neutron stars, according to the astronomers. According to Romani, neutron stars with high maximum masses are likely made up of a mixture of nuclei and their dissolved up and down quarks. This rule disqualifies a number of suggested states of matter, particularly those having unusual internal compositions. Co-authors of a paper outlining the team's findings include Romani, Filipenko, and Stanford graduate student Dennis Candle.
It was released in the Astrophysical Journal Letters today, July 26, 2022. How big can they become? Most astrophysicists concur that when a star with a core mass greater than 1.4 solar masses collapses at the end of its life, it creates a dense, compact object whose interior is under such intense pressure that all atoms are crushed together to create a sea of neutrons and their subnuclear byproducts, quarks. These neutron stars are born spinning and, despite being too faint to be seen in visible light, reveal themselves as pulsars by flashing Earth with radio waves, X-rays, or even gamma rays as they rotate. This behavior is similar to a lighthouse rotating its beam. The typical speed of ordinary pulsars is roughly once per second, which is easily explained given the star's usual rotation before it collapses. It is difficult to explain why some pulsars repeat hundreds or even 1,000 times per second unless stuff has dropped onto the neutron star and spun it up. However, no companion may be seen for some millisecond pulsars. Each single millisecond pulsar may have once had a companion, but it has been stripped away, which is one explanation for their isolation. The process of evolution is incredibly intriguing, stated Filipenko. Material leaks over to the neutron star as it develops and begins to turn red giant, which causes the neutron star to spin up. A jet of particles begins to emanate from the neutron star as it starts to spin up and become extremely energetic. The donor star is then struck by that wind, which begins removing material from it. Eventually, the donor star's mass falls to that of a planet, and if additional time passes, it vanishes completely. That explains how single millisecond pulsars could develop. They had to be in a binary pair to begin with, so they weren't wholly by themselves, but over time, their partners slowly vanished, leaving them alone. This origin theory for millisecond pulsars is supported by the pulsar PSR J0952060 and its dim companion star. The remnants of regular stars that have contributed mass and angular momentum to their pulsar companions, spinning them up to millisecond periods and increasing their mass in the process, according to Romani, are what are known as these planet-like objects. In a display of cosmic resentment, the Black Widow pulsar, which has already swallowed a sizable portion of its mate, is now heating and evaporating the companion to planetary masses and possibly causing complete extinction. According to Filipenko, titarins and redbacks are two types of spider pulsars. One of the few techniques to weigh neutron stars is to find black widow pulsars where the partner is modest but not too small to detect. The companion star in this binary system, which is now just 20 times the mass of Jupiter, is bent by the neutron star's mass and becomes tidally locked, much like our moon is trapped in orbit so that we can only view one side about 6,200 Kelvin, or 10,700 degrees Fahrenheit, are reached on the neutron star facing side, making it slightly hotter than the sun and just brilliant enough to be visible through a powerful telescope. Over the course of the last four years, Filipenko and Romani turned the Keck I telescope on PSR J0952060076 times each time using the low-resolution imaging spectrometer to observe at 15-minute intervals to catch the dim companion at certain times in its 6.4-hour orbit around the pulsar. They were able to determine the mass of the neutron star and gauge the orbital velocity of the companion star by comparing the spectra to those of other sun-like stars. Only six of the Black Widow systems, Filipenko, and Romani have analyzed so far had partner stars luminous enough to allow them to determine a mass, less massive neutron stars than the pulsar PSR J0952060 were all involved. They want to learn more about black widow pulsars as well as their cousins, the redbacks, named after the Australian equivalent of black widow pulsars, which have companions closer to one-tenth the mass of the sun, and the titterans, named after a kin of the Black Widow spider, which have companions closer to 100th the mass of the sun. This species male, Tidarin sisyphoids, is roughly 1% the size of the female. 
we can continue looking for neutron stars, like black widows and other objects, that skate even closer to the edge of a black hole. However, if we don't, it strengthens the case that 2.3 solar masses is the actual upper limit, beyond which they turn into black holes, according to Filipenko. The tightening of the measurement of PSR J0952067, according to Romani, likely awaits the 30-meter telescope era because it is exactly at the limit of what the Keck telescope can do. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.